Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to show you guys my everyday makeup look. It's not like a natural look but then again it's not like a heavy glam look. It's just like a happy medium. This is a really good look if you're looking to basically conceal all of your um, imperfections but still have your skin looking skin-like. So if you want to know how I got this makeup look, keep on watching. As you guys can see, my skin has discoloration, it has acne marks, and it has one big spot there, but I also have like little acne breakouts over here, and I'm going to show you today how I conceal all of that and try to make my skin as flawless as possible. I'm going to start with primer, and I'm going to use the Laura Mercier primer. This is the Pure Canvas Primer, and it is a silicone primer. And this stuff is so good for um, controlling oil. So if you have an oily skin, use a product that basically controls the oil, especially on your T-zone. And that is the case with me. So we're just gonna put this all over the forehead. And we are gonna put this a little bit on the cheeks okay now that i'm done priming i'm gonna take the Too faced concealer and this is the instant coverage concealer the color they sent me is a bit darker than my skin tone but that is okay because i'm basically using it to color correct especially on my chin as you guys can see i have a lot of breakouts and acne scars on my chin. Color correcting with like a darker concealer is actually a really good thing. I'm gonna put some here. Basically anywhere where I have discoloration or acne marks. I'm basically testing out this new setup so let me know if you guys like it for like filming tutorials and stuff. Your feedback is always great because I can learn from it. Oh, and I'm using this brush that is also from Too Faced. And it's called Mr. Cover Up. I have been trying to perfect my base um, makeup because I feel like the base makes all the difference when you know how to do it. Like if you can do your base right, the rest of your makeup will naturally look good. So now that I have color corrected and concealed, I'm going to take my favorite foundation and it is the Bobbi Brown Skin Long Weightless Foundation. And this foundation has SPF 15. It's my favorite foundation ever. Anytime I use a foundation, I always find myself going back to this one and I'm in the shade Golden. So I'm going to take one pump of it and I'm basically just going to dot it on the center of my face my nose my forehead my cheeks and then i'm just gonna stibble it with this brush it's like a foundation brush from makeup forever and i'm just gonna basically work the foundation from the middle of my face to the rest of it and this way you control how much foundation you're using and because I concealed and corrected I'm not gonna need that much but make sure you're stippling so you don't basically um, wipe off the concealer action you have going on I'm gonna put a little bit more just to cover up some more Especially on my forehead. Make sure you go up to your hairline as well. If my hair is like out of my face like this, I conceal my ears. Or like I put foundation on my ears. But if it's not, then I don't bother. Make sure to hit your neck. And while I'm doing my makeup, I try not to make any facial movements, like I try not to smile or anything. Just because like I have laugh lines and I don't want my foundation to crease. 
so I try to keep a very still face until I powder. Now we're gonna conceal, and for concealer, I'm using the um, Too Faced Born This Way concealers. I'm gonna use Maple, which is like the darker concealer for my spots, and then I'm gonna use Warm Sand as a highlight or to like basically highlight my under eyes. So I'm gonna take the same concealer brush from Too Faced, and I'm gonna take the Born This Way concealer, and I'm gonna take a little bit of it and then just put it anywhere where I can still see the acne marks under the foundation. I'm also going to put it a little bit around my mouth because I have heavy discoloration there. And again, just like stibble it in. Just like pat it in. So now for the fun part, the highlighting, I'm going to take the lighter concealer and it's just, this concealer is like maybe two shades lighter than my skin tone and I'm going to put a little bit here, don't put it directly under the eye, like a little bit lower and then on my nose, like the sides of my nose and then a little bit on my forehead right here. But I'm going to make sure it doesn't go close to the spot that I have because we don't want to highlight that. So we just want to lightly highlight this part right here. And then maybe the nose a little bit. And then I'm going to highlight my under eyes like so. It helps if you look down when you're applying the concealer that way you can see exactly where you are applying the concealer i'm sorry if my voice is low but i don't have a microphone so just turn up the volume please <laughs> conceal here and here i really hope this footage turns out good because if it doesn't, I won't be able to post it, but it'll be practice for me. So if you see this, then you should know that it made it. it made the cut, basically. Now that I'm done concealing, I'm going to set my face with the Laura Mercier powder. And this is the translucent powder. This powder is incredible. This is what it looks like. And I'm basically going to take my Fenty Beauty Beauty Blender and I love that it's tapered this way. That way I can like pick up the powder with it and then basically put it under my eyes to can uh, to set the concealer. So you're just going to dab it in. Tap off the excess and then you're going to gently apply it under your eyes like so. This helps me with creasing under my eyes and then I'm going to do the same thing and I'm going to apply this on my forehead and basically anywhere where I need to set. So usually here around my nose and around my mouth on my chin and then on my nose basically the entire face apart from the outer bit <laughs> so that's it we're done with the tutorial <laughs> i'm kidding um okay so now i'm gonna bronze and to bronze i'm using the hula bronzer from benefit surprisingly the shade works for my skin tone i don't know how but it does it gives it that light bronze and it's so pretty. So I'm just gonna take some on a brush and then I'm basically just gonna put it under my cheekbones. And with bronzer, I learned to pat it in rather than like do that swipe motion. I don't know why, but it works better. I want to put a lot on my forehead because I want to make it look smaller <laughs> and then we're going to put some 
on my chin and then I'm also gonna put some on my nose to make it appear smaller I usually don't bother if I feel like the contour lines are harsh because when I um, when I basically like blend in the powder it basically evens everything out for my eyebrows I have been using the brow kit from makeup forever basically the brow kit comes with a spoolie it comes with a tiny little brush and it comes with the aqua brow product and this is in the shade 30 I'm just gonna pat the powder on my forehead so I'm ready to do my brows and I'm gonna brush up my brow hairs I'm gonna use the Bobbi Brown um, um, gel thingy this is in the shade mahogany and I'm basically just gonna like brush up my um, what do you call it my brow hair So as you guys can see the brow gel is basically giving me like a nicer outline so I can like know where I can like fill it in and then I'm gonna use the aqua brow and basically do upwards strokes and I realize that when I do the tip like not like this like that it just like the strokes look better But then it depends on the brow that you want. Like for example, I don't have eyebrows, so I want my eyebrows to be nice and hairy. And this is how I mimic that look. Literally changed the game for me and my brows. I don't know if you guys noticed, but this brow looks better than this one, and that's always the case with me. I always know how to do this one better but yeah do you guys see like my brows look a little bit bushy and full but don't worry I need to fix this one and I can do that with a concealer brush see we want to work quickly before the product sets in we're gonna go again with this pulley and we're just gonna brush the brow to make it look a little bit more natural because that's the look I love like a natural look so lastly I'm gonna go with the same bobby brow brow <laughs> I'm gonna go with the same bobby brown brow gel but then this time I'm using the clear one and then I'm gonna use this to do a last set there's a lot that goes into my brows, you guys, but this is how we get them to look nice and juicy. And yeah, that's it. So I'm finally done with the eyebrows, and I really like them. It depends, like every day they look different, but yeah, this is the look that I'm currently going for. Okay, so now we're gonna do eyeshadow. So for eyeshadow, I don't do the most just because, like for my everyday look, just because I have lash extensions on. So it really doesn't matter what eyeshadow I put on, like it barely shows. I'm gonna be using the Too Faced Born This Way, the Natural Nudes um, palette, and I'm gonna use Coco. So this color is a bit similar to my lid color. As you guys can see, my lids are a bit darker than the rest of my face. So I'm going to use that to my advantage to make my eyes look a bit smoky. But like a natural smoky, like we don't want to do anything crazy. And I just take the brush all over my lids and then try to blend it. So it has like a cat eye. 
my book look. Honestly, I just like freestyle it. Cause like I said, doesn't matter. But I'll go over it with this nude color, which is like similar to my brow bone color. And I'll like blend it over that. So as you guys can see, it's a bit more blended. And then I'm gonna brush up my lash extensions. I just got them yesterday, so they're looking a bit stiff. It takes them like a couple of days to get a little nice and fluffy and natural. Sorry guys, my battery died and I had to charge it real quick. So all I have left is blush, highlight, and my lips and then we're gonna set everything with a setting spray so for blush i'm using the laura mercier blush in the shade curb royale i don't know how to pronounce it but this is the shade it's so pretty and i'm just gonna take this on a blush brush again i'm using a blush brush from makeup forever they have beautiful brushes and I love using them. So we're just gonna pat a little bit over the contour. That's how I like to apply my blush. For the fun part, we're gonna highlight using the Born This Way Highlight Trio. I'm obsessed with this highlight. I'm using the shade Medium and I'm using Glow, which is, can't see it. It's this one right here. So pretty. So I'm just gonna take a generous amount That is it. A generous amount of highlight is always key to set my face because I have so much powder on. I'm gonna use the setting spray from Fenty Beauty. So good, you guys. So good, so good and fine. And we're just gonna basically let this set and while it's setting, I'm going to show you guys um, how I do my lips. I have been embracing my natural two-toned lips. And basically, I apply lip liners to complement my natural lip. And then I will apply gloss on top of it. But before we do that, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Lip Injection. And what this is going to do, it's going to plump your lips. But you want to use a little bit because this stuff really burns. So don't use a lot of it, just use a little bit. And we're just going to use it on the center of my lips. I've already warned you guys, don't use a lot. And then I have been using these two lip liners. You can use any like darker lip liner and then a lighter lip liner or one that's like similar to um, the center of your lips. Um, but the darker one is from Charlotte Tilbury. It's called Pillow Talk. The other one is from Makeup Forever and it's the Artist Color Pencil. And this pencil, you can use it literally all over your face, not just your lips. And it's in the shade Anywhere Caffeine. So we're going to take the darker one first and we're going to use it on where my lip is darker. Be very, very light with it. And I feel like here you can like outline um, your lips however you want. And then I'm going to take the nude shade and then I'm going to put it all over the center of my lips. A little bit here. And bring this up a little bit. And that is it. That is all I do with my lips. And as you guys can see, it's looking very natural. It's like my natural lip, but like complementing um, my natural lip. And then I'm gonna finish it off with the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm. And this one is in the shade Hot Chocolate. You guys, this gloss balm is the best one out of all of them just because it looks so pretty on the lips. 
Just gonna put a little bit on the center. But yeah, this is the final look. As you guys can see, it is very pretty, simple, and flawless. I'll make sure to link all the products in the description box below. So if you're looking for any of the products that I used, it'll be linked below. Um, wait, I forgot something. Guys, I forgot a very important step, which is taking this shade, Truffle, from the same palette that I used earlier, and then just putting it on my lower lash line. Can't believe I forgot this step. This is like my favorite step. I do it like in a very messy way, just because, as you guys know, I love a smoked smoked eye look I really hope you guys enjoyed my tutorial I hope you guys like the finished look if you try it make sure to tag me on Instagram or put me on your story and tag me and I'll make sure to check it out I really hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you guys want me to film more tutorials not necessarily makeup I can do skincare I can do hair um, let me know if you guys like this setup and I'll see you guys in my next video peace